Let's look at this uh, practice problem on Ito's lemma. The share price of uh, an insurance company, ST, is currently 97 pence and it can be modeled by the stochastic differential equation 0.4 ST DT plus 0.5 ST DBT. So, here Probably just for a quickness, I'll do it as DST by ST. If I'm taking, it is 0.4 DT plus 0.5 DBT. Okay. Now, determine D log ST using the Ito lemma. Okay. First, let's go with that. If I want D log ST, so I'll go first of all with F of X is log x. So, f dash of x will go as 1 by x. Dou squared f by dou x squared will become minus 1 by x squared. And dou f by dou t is 0. So, the same logic if I use dou f by dou x which is 1 by x times dst or instead of x, I will write it as st itself. Do f by do x times dst. dst for me is 0.4 st dt plus 0.5 st dbt. This is the first part. Do plus half do squared x by do x squared minus 1 by st squared. Do squared uh, dx uh, all squared. So, this squared dst squared is going to give me 0.5 squared st squared dt. This part is 0.5 squared st squared dt. This is becoming 0. Now, overall, d log st is going to come out as 0.4 dt, 0.4 dt plus 0.5 dbt. Then, I have st squared is going off, which will give me minus 0.5 squared by 2 dt. This is what is coming out to d log st. So, simplifying it, 0.4 minus 0.5 squared by 2. If I am trying to uh, simplify, 0.4 minus 0.5 squared by 2, it is 0.275. So, this entire thing works out as 0.275 dt plus 0.5 dbt. This is the typical d log st. Fair enough. The d log st using the Ito lemma is coming out to 0.275 dt plus 0.5 dbt. Now, I can, I'll, I'll uh, take it again. d log st is equal to 0.275 dt plus 0.5 dbt. Now, from here, I will take the integral on both sides, integral 0 to t, right, integral uh, 0 to t, d log s s is equal to integral 0 to t 0.275 s ds plus 0.5 dbs. So, obviously, this is uh, coming out as log st minus log s0 is equal to 0.275t plus 0.5bt. This is what is typically uh, coming out. So, from here, I can work out that log st is nothing but log s0 plus 0.275t plus 0.5bt. Now, I want to find out, I want to find out 
from here the mean as well as the variance the expected and the variance of the share price in two years time so the t for me is going to be two here So in this case, I am typically looking at t equal to 2. So log s2 is log s0 which is 97 plus 0.275 times t. t is 2. So 0.275 times 2 is 0.55 plus we are getting it uh, as 0.5 times bt. Now, we know that this is, in this case, uh, S2 is following a log normal distribution with parameters log 97 plus 0.55 and variance as 0.5, the variance as point uh, so here it is uh, 0.5 bt so variance is 0.5 squared times 2 so s2 is going to uh, follow a log normal distribution with these parameters so probably i can see s2 is uh, going to have a mu of the parameter of a log normal distribution mu is log 97 plus 0.55. So, this is going to be the mu and probably uh, the sigma for uh, the log parameter for a log normal distribution is 0.5 squared times 2 which is 0.5. Now, out of this I can compute the mean of the expected value of the log normal distribution e power mu plus half sigma squared. So, the expected value of the returns over a two year period, the expected value of S2 is going to be e to the power of mu plus half sigma squared. This is the sigma squared e power mu plus half sigma squared is going to be the expected value. The variance of st is going to be the expected value of st whole squared times e power sigma squared minus 1 or it is like e power 2 mu plus sigma squared times e to the power of sigma squared minus 1. This is the typical variance and uh, expected value of a log normal distribution. So, the variance of S2, I can compute it as this value squared times e to the power of sigma squared minus 1. So, e to the power of, this is sigma squared minus uh, sigma squared minus 1. So, the variance is coming out to be this much. So, from here I can find out the standard deviation to be the square root of this. So, 173.87 is the typical standard deviation. So, what we typically have is in two period time, in a period of two years, the expected value of the share is going to be 215.877 and the standard deviation is going to be 173.87. It's going to follow a normal distribution with this as the standard deviation uh, with 173.87 as the standard deviation and 215.87 as the mean of that particular distribution. This is how the typical uh, stochastic calculus uh, based uh, ITOS uh, process can very well be uh, used to determine the mean and the standard deviation in case the stochastic differential equation is following this kind of a pattern, right?